All right, now in this example, we're asked to take the following percent, 225%, and convert it to a decimal. So make sure you're careful about which direction you're going when you do these conversions, because if we had a decimal number to a percentage, that's always two hops to the right. So for example, 0.125 as a percent, I'd hop over twice, and this would become 12.5%. Well, if we're going backwards from percent to decimal, then we need to go backwards. So instead of hopping two to the right, we're going to hop two to the left. And so make sure you always keep track of which way you're going. So where is the decimal to start with? If they don't put it here explicitly, it's always at the very end of the number, 225. So if the decimal's here and I'm going from percent to decimal, I'm going to hop two to the left, the opposite direction, because we're going backwards. So if I do that, I wind up with 2.25, and that's not percent. I don't write that sign anymore because we've changed it from a percentage to a decimal. And so there we go. 225% as a decimal is 2.25.